Hey guys, my name is B. Arts and I'm a Dutch documentary and wildlife photographer from Amsterdam. Through my lens, I'm examining the intricate relationship between humans, animals and nature in an attempt to explore why we all seem increasingly disconnected from the natural world, each other and ourselves. Now, let's go back to the beginning real quick. When I was 16, my dad gifted me my first camera, an analog Canon AE-1. Together, we developed images in his dark room, and my passion for the craft was immediately triggered. In the years that followed, I traveled around Asia as a teenager. Through my viewfinder, I discovered kind of a whole new world. I was able to communicate with people without using words by simply using this camera. And the rest, well, it's kind of history. Over time, my interest in the natural world grew, and especially the African continent started to draw my attention. It's a place that, time after time, makes me feel like I'm coming home. A feeling that's kind of hard to describe. I mean, it has such a deep spirit and such a welcoming soul, one that carries me back to the origin of human existence, the origin of life on our planet. Because in the fast-paced world we currently live in, there is something so magical about printed work. The smell of books, the feel of paper, it forces people, I mean, printed work forces people to slow down. It forces people to actually absorb stories. I mean, most people these days are conditioned to like or dislike something within three seconds. The attention span is so short that if your work doesn't hit someone's heart, someone's core in those first three seconds, you're out and they swipe away. And what happens next is that the majority of so-called content disappears in the digital overkill of the internet. But printed work, however, printed work is here to stay. Because my books and my prints now decorate homes around the entire world, which is the most incredible feeling being an artist. But there's more, because on top of that, printing your own work and inviting people to voice their opinion about it increases, directly increases your ability as a storyteller, tremendously. So by printing your own work and by analyzing it with friends or with colleagues, whether you sell it or not, you instantly become a better photographer and a better storyteller. As a wildlife photographer, an advocate for the natural world and a perfectionist all at once, I'm always on a quest for more sustainable printing solutions without making concessions to quality. And the brand new Hanemude Natural Line is offering me exactly that. And therefore, I could not be more proud and more stoked to officially start, as of today, as their first global Hanemühle Natural Line ambassador. And therefore, all my work is printed on this amazing paper, entirely made from natural raw materials. 60% hemp, 40% cotton, produced while substantially losing, using less water and without the use of pesticides and chemicals. And therefore, in the world of printing, this paper is with a distance the most sustainable solution, a game changer and no-brainer for every nature or wildlife photographer. Throughout my life, the healing power of art has always carried me through times of anxiety and despair. And when COVID hit the world in March 2020, I decided to try and share if that very same feeling could be given to thousands of people around the world. The sudden absence of tourism in Africa was having devastating consequences for communities and wildlife, and I felt a very strong desire to stand up, come to action and help. So I founded Prince for Wildlife, a fundraiser that brought together 120 wildlife photographers from around the entire planet, who all donated their best work for conservation. By selling prints for $100 each, within one month we generated $660,000 US dollar for conservation and all of that money has been donated to African Parks, an NGO that supports African communi communities and wildlife in some of the most vulnerable corners of Africa. Now all prints we sold were printed on exactly this paper, on natural line hemp. And therefore, buyers were not only blown away by the quality and the fine texture, but also by the sustainable narrative. And this case proved once again that art can be such a powerful tool in healing and restoring the planet and funding conservation. I mean, isn't it the most amazing thing that all these prints in homes around the entire world now serve as daily reminders that the natural world is worth fighting for every single day? One moment I'll never forget is how I once started home printing back in the day. 
on this big boy over here. I received my Canon Pro 1000 printer. And after installation, I started printing and all prints came out faded. It took me in fact five days and, a lot, and lots of hours on Google to see if I could fix what was wrong. Only to eventually find out that I was loading all the paper upside down into the paper tray. Can you believe it? It's perhaps not the most adventurous story, but it shows we all have to start somewhere. These days, I'm working with professional printing labs that ship my works to every corner of the planet. But I'm still test printing new work at home and will forever be doing that. And therefore, my advice for people that start with printing at home is to start small. Keep things simple, but start because home printing will forever change the way you look at your work.